everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. The 98 Chevy K2500 is running fantastic. The owner says she's amazed how well it runs after the intake manifold gasket replacement. Uh, now she's back for the air conditioning complaint. So she says that she leaves her house, AC is on, it works fine for like an hour. Then she went in the store, came out, AC doesn't work anymore. She came here, it's not working, she wants it figured out right now. So this system uh, is a little more complex than you would think for a 98 uh, pickup truck. So here's the AC compressor clutch. It's controlled by the AC compressor relay which is turned on by the vehicle control module. Now this is the PCM. Uh, I was a little confused. I thought I was looking for another module. No, that is the engine control module actually. And what are the inputs to the PCM to make this thing happy? Well, from the HVAC control module, you, know, you press the button, and the AC request signal travels through the AC high pressure cutout switch, uh, and then to the vehicle control module. And that is located on the back of the air conditioning compressor, this connector right here. You can see the uh, light green and dark green and white wires. So on our scanner, this is the quickest way to, to do it instead of manually checking wires. You want to see the logic here, all the inputs. So air conditioning AC request is on, yes. The key is on, the button is pushed, the fan is on. So we have that. Air conditioning relay is off. And then we have two other inputs. Uh, these are also, uh, the labeling is a little confusing. AC cycling cutoff switch and AC compressor low pressure cutout switch. Um, <laughs> one is a dark blue wire, the other one's a dark green, and when the switches are closed, they pull that signal to ground. It's a sensing circuit. Uh, so we can find these switches. One of them is right here. That's the dark green wire on the uh, accumulator. So on the low side, you can see it goes to the accumulator, then back to the compressor. So that would be our dark green wire right here. So that's called the AC compressor low pressure cutout switch. If the pressure is too low, the switch is open and we don't have any AC action. AC cycling cutout switch is on the high pressure side, this dark blue. You can see there's a dark blue wire right there. And that's on the high side. So I assume that when the pressure gets you know really high, it'll switch that and the, the PCM will disable the relay. So let's start up the truck with everything connected and see what these data pids show. So right now, both of those switches are reading open. Okay, so AC is on, blower is on. The AC clutch is not engaging. And we still have both switches are open. And I did hook up my uh, pressure gauge here, and our pressures are fine. They're about 90, 95 PSI, it's a warm day. So, this switch should be closed. So what we can do, is with a test light pull this down so it's 13.2 volts right now just disconnect this test light to battery ground if it finds a, a power it'll light up or pull the signal down so we'll just stuff this in here boom our AC is on and this says closed. Now let's look at our pressures. So I'm not exactly sure, we can look this up, how these switches are supposed to work. So 
on the low side, apparently if the pressure is too low, it'll be open. What about if the pressure is, you know, too high? I think that's, that's just this one. But what causes the cycling action? You know, as our AC works, maybe when this drops into too low of a vacuum, that switch will cut off, perhaps. And this one will only close when the pressure is too high, which usually doesn't happen. So we're getting nice cool air, everything's working. If I disconnect my test light, that instantly turns off and that evaporator switch says open, even though it should be closed. I mean, normal pressures, it should be closed. So let's This one right here, when it's closed, the system's operating normally. So it looks like it's going to need a new low pressure switch. Obviously you could just jump the two pins, but then the AC will be on all the time. Even if the pressure drops too low, that, that's not good for the system. So we actually need a part for this truck, uh, a pretty quick diagnosis. Some people were saying, hey, the compressor is leaking, you know, but we have plenty of refrigerant. No issues there. It's just this switch that's uh, causing all, causing the malfunction. So I'm messing around with the switch and I can actually make the AC compressor turn on. I push it in. If I pull it out, so is it a switch problem or maybe a contact problem? That explains the intermittent nature of it. So actually on our scan data, we can see if I uh, wiggle that switch, there it is, it's open. It should be closed when I push it in. So is it just bad contacts or is the switch internally messed up? All right, so ohm meter connected just to the switch using the AES Wave adapter kit, nice tight fit. And I wanna flex the pins and see if the sensor itself internally is messed up or if it's just these pins on the connector, if it's like terminal fretting. So I'm gonna flex the pins and we, ex you know, if the sensor is bad, we should see a dropout. If not, then we would be firing the parts cannon for no reason. Man, that sensor looks perfect. So let's do a drag check on the actual female side. So on the female connector here, doing a drag check, these pins do feel quite loose, you know, both of them. That's why torquing it one way or another actually made a difference. So all we need to do is tighten up these terminals here. Now we can either bend the tabs or take them out, uh, spray some deoxid on there, and that should fix the problem. So the quick and dirty way here is just stick a pick on the underside where the tab is and just push it in a little bit until you see that terminal start closing up. Just basically spring loading it a little more. And then you can do your drag check. 
and that already feels much better. And then put a little deoxid on here and we should be good to go. All right, last piece of the puzzle here. Spray some of the magic stuff and slide it back on there. Nice engagement. Let's uh, let's just run it. Yep, AC compressor kicked on. Switch is closed, so I'm going to wiggle it and make sure we don't drop out. That's it. I'm, I'm happy with this truck. No parts required. Beautiful. And how would you charge for this? Well, it is, you know, obviously a diagnostic charge, and the repair for something like this, I would fold it into the diagnostic charge in just one hour. You're good. I'll give it a one year guarantee, a happy customer. I'll even deliver the truck to her uh, next, you know. Uh, and that's it. So thanks all for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.